something interesting that I've also noticed about the last few similar outages that have happened over the last several months or so. It just so happens that YouTube had rolled out some new system or change to the algorithm after the last couple of outages have occurred. To put it simply, it would not surprise me at all if YouTube or Google as a whole introduce some something that will inevitably screw up YouTube even more than they already have at this point. But of course, YouTube has no idea what they're doing, so I have no clue what's going to actually happen next. That was from my video three days ago, talking about the YouTube outage and the potential ramifications that could come about afterwards. As I mentioned earlier, I had very little doubt that after the outage that YouTube would attempt to implement some new system to once again completely ruin any chance for the majority of creators to earn any sort of revenue on the platform. And that is exactly what ended up happening, unfortunately, as seen by this blog post earlier today. According to YouTube, they say that this work has focused on four main pillars. Removing violative content, raising up authoritative content, reducing the spread of, vi of borderline content, and rewarding trusted creators. Thanks to these investments, videos that violate our policies are removed faster than ever, and users are seeing less and less borderline content and harmful misinformation. As they do this, they will, they're they partnering closely with lawmakers and quote-unquote civil society quote, uh, yeah, around the globe to limit the spread of violent extremist content online. So this is basically YouTube's stance on the issue, I guess. And unfortunately, as with a lot of YouTube's decisions lately, this will inevitably lead to even more hostility between YouTube and its creators. A couple of creators around this corner of YouTube have already been affected by these new policies. One of which being noted YouTube psychologist Sinatra says. He ended up getting his, having his monetization revoked earlier today after posting a video about the Steven Crowder situation. Whether that was a direct reason for his demonetization, I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, another channel that appears to have been unfairly targeted by by this new system is the blunt stream which ended up getting a strike almost immediately after last night's stream the strike was apparently because of nudity or sexual content despite there not being any such content on the show at the time according to apian himself this whole situation is just insane and which is isn't surprising considering how youtube is so consistent when it comes to terrible decision making and that's all I want to talk about today. So I'll see you next time. I'll also be putting the uh, channels that I talked about today in the description. So if you want to check those out, you can go ahead and do that. And that's all. That's all I wanted to say. All right. I'll see you next time.